Alright everybody, it's Fur Dragon. I I just got up. I haven't even really gotten dressed yet. Uh, <laughs> uh I've got a headache and I just kinda feel like crap right now. The bed that they had at here the Super 8 wasn't even comfortable. Uh I got a pretty crappy night's sleep last night. Alright hey everybody, um I'm in my car. I'm actually letting it warm up a little bit. The windows are all iced over. You see where I scraped it, the difference. You see through it there, and yeah, not there. The same with the back window. The side ones weren't iced over at all, though. But anyway, it's pretty cold. Um, I'm about to leave the Super 8 Motel. Get on the road. I'm probably gonna do, I'm just gonna do eight hours today, most likely. I feel kind of worn out and exhausted. I really don't feel like driving right now, so I'm just gonna do a limited amount today, and then then that'll just leave me with a four-hour drive for the last day, which won't be bad. All right, I've got to finish scraping my windows, or at least my front one. I can't see out of half of it, and it's really messing me up. So I got to finish scraping. All right, that is much better. I can actually see out my window. This trucks. All right. Breakfast time. I gotta go find somewhere to eat. It, they, they did offer breakfast at the Super 8 over here, but uh, you know, after such a terrible experience being here and me generally not liking their breakfast anyway, I just said forget it. I'm not even gonna try to, because I don't want to end up getting their breakfast and then and end, up, end up sitting there trying to eat it, and not liking it, and then not wanting to throw it away because I don't want to feel bad. That want to be like. You know, your food tastes like crap. <laughs> well, I was going to stop at KFC, because I like chicken. But they're closed. So I'm going to McDonald's, and I'm probably going to end up getting one of their crappy egg and sausage meals. And seriously, can't they have some kind of variety? Every meal is some kind of variety of eggs, meat, and cheese. Really? I mean, I want a freaking burger. Like, I, I, I want a nice, big, beefy burger. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to eat into it. I don't want to bite into some kind of half edible egg mix thing that tastes like crap. All right, so I just got breakfast at McDonald's. Man, this, I swear, this whole city's freaking retarded. I go up there, order my food. I'm sitting there for about a good 10, 15 minutes. I never get it. I was ordering 92 and I, I was standing there right by the register waiting, waiting to hear my number. They went from 91 to 93 and then went up to 100 and then back to zero. Well, apparently I wasn't the only one who didn't get my order. And, uh, there was a truck driver in there who also didn't get his order. And he was pretty pretty well pissed off about that. So, me standing there, and he realized that I was also waiting on my order that I hadn't gotten yet. He decided to speak up and started yelling at the lady at the at the cash register. Um, eventually, we we both ended up getting our food, but because because of him, it was sped up a little bit faster. And uh, I was able to get my food sooner. But seriously. Like, I, I I ordered a sausage biscuit, a sausage, uh, what's it called, burrito, two hash browns, and a large orange juice. I mean, really, that's like, it, it, that takes a couple minutes to throw together. I mean, they had all the stuff already made and and put together. It was just sitting on the, sh on the shelf. They just had to throw it in. Well... Eventually I got my meal and they ended up giving me a medium orange juice instead of a large one. And at that point I was just like, forget it, I'm not even going to bother anymore. I, I'm just, I'm leaving. And, I mean really, look at their, they call this a burrito. I, that, that's like the saddest excuse for a burrito and I'm pretty sure it just has egg in it. Now it's got, oh hey, it's got a couple pieces of sausage in it. Yeah, that's what I want. Freaking weak. God. Well, I just got done eating. Um, at least the food wasn't too bad. I mean, the 
but burrito was an extremely sad excuse for burrito. It didn't taste too bad though. I just wish it would have had a little more meat. Uh, some more condiment kind of stuff inside it. But no. So I'm just going to keep driving. Okay, I'm going to make my first stop here in a couple seconds. A little bit once I'm able to get off on this ramp. Um, I gotta use the bathroom and I need gas in my car. So I'm gonna stop, fuel up, use the bathroom, and then get back on the road. Alright, so I just stopped. And this is actually a pretty nice place. It's got an arcade in it and everything. Got a whole bunch of stuff around here. Yeah. It's a Russell's um, place, whatever it's called. I ended up stopping at the Russell's Travel Center in, I think, New Mexico. I think I'm still in New Mexico. But anyway, it's actually not a bad place. They've got a pretty nice little place here to hang out at. They've got a bunch of... It, it, they almost have like a grocery center mart thing in there. Like a restaurant. I, th I think it was I think it was Subway they had in there. And uh, they have the place all nice and dressed up for Christmas. Now I'm now I'm just trying to figure out how to get out of here. Oh, there's the exit. But yeah, Russell's Travel Center, not a bad place. Pretty nice little area area to stop at. Very clean and open bathrooms. Alright, well, I'm getting back on the road, so I'm going to down the camera. I am now leaving New Mexico. I don't know if you saw that or not. It's probably really quick and blurry. But I'm leaving New Mexico now, and I am entering Texas. And my battery's about to die. <laughs> And we're in Texas. We're in Texas. Alright, I just stopped at the Texas Travel and Information Center. Or whatever it's called. Something like that. Uh, mainly just use the bathroom. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the bathroom. Alright. This, uh, this travel center that I stopped in was actually really nice. Uh, they even had like a miniature movie theater in there with uh, something playing. I, I don't know what it was, but they had like a miniature movie theater. Um, they had an arcade, restaurant, all that. It, it was a pretty nice place, really. Bathrooms were even pretty fancy. All right, I just stopped at the Love's Country Store to fill up for gas. I also bought a couple batteries for my camera because my camera died. And. Uh, Two batteries up here was like six bucks. Yeah, they're max lithium batteries though, so they'll last a while. But still, that's a lot of money for two batteries. Well, I'm gonna get back on the road. All right, I'm in Oklahoma now. And if it keeps going this fast, I might be able to actually make it to Missouri tonight. Who knows? Which I, I doubt it though. That's going to be like another probably six hours. That would get me there at 8 o'clock. So, yeah, about 8 o'clock. I don't really want to get there at 8 o'clock. I want to get there during the day so I can unpack. I'm making another stop. Just got off on exit 108. Recalculating. Drive 400 feet. Then take ramp ahead. Take ramp ahead. Exit 108 in Oklahoma. Let me 
stopping to get something to eat and use the bathroom. So I'm getting pretty hungry. So, uh, We're yeah. calculating. Alright, I'm stopping at the Cherokee Travel Mart. So I'm gonna go inside and see what I, what I can find. Alright. Damn it. Alright, I just stopped and got Subway. Yeah, Subway. Yeah. I got the sweet onion chicken teriyaki. Right, I got a, I got a six inch sub, and it was like four or something. I don't remember exactly. But I'm gonna eat. It's extremely windy out here. <laughs> I'm still at the stop in uh, in Oklahoma. I haven't left yet. Just finished eating, and uh. Yeah, it's it's really windy. <laughs> Continue 39 miles. All right, this will probably be the last video I'll be able to record for now because it's getting really dark. Um, I just stopped to get gas in somewhere in Oklahoma. I don't know where. Somewhere Oklahoma. <laughs> um, I'm going the wrong way. Well, I'm sure you all remember from last time I was here. Uh. The toll booth. Toll booth. Stay right there, and I gotta pay. And I don't have to worth my money yet. Oh no, where's my money? Where's my money? Oh no. Okay. I hate these toll, toll booths. Freaking Oklahoma sucks. Alright, I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma right now. Just pull up to the Motel 6, and I'm about to go in there and get my room. Alright, I got my room. Not a bad room. Typical Motel 6. Kinda like it though. A lot better than Super 8. Um, I just turned on the TV, I haven't changed it yet, but it's got this... I don't know what it is. It's this show. It's one of those shows that, that you'd have to be like really be able to watch properly. Yeah. I don't get it. But anyway, there's a mirror. Table in the middle of the room, which is kind of cool. I kind of like where that's at and how it's set up. Phone's back there. I never use it. Here's on, which is really nice because it was a nice toasty room when I came in. Here's my bed. Got my stuff on it. And the bathroom. Got a pretty nice little shower in here, actually. Let's see if I can... There's the light. Nice shower. Wait, what the? There's a light in the shower. That's cool. <laughs> so yeah, I'm in my room. I'm gonna get my computer set up and start playing around online.